Hello everybody, welcome to episode 46 of the Tamagotchi Connection series here, and let's get to the major updates of today's episode. So, we got the marriage lady, and it isn't like a difference in cutscenes or anything like that, so it's still the same old marriage lady, but to be honest, the marriage lady is always, always exciting. It doesn't matter, she doesn't need to change. She'd be her own individual lady. But, she came along, and we married some Tamas off, so let's show off the little babies on this one. So we got one little baby right there. Little puck thing. Sort of looks like it's parent. That one I can see. Has a little like bump there to like represent the hair or whatever. They also do that same little hop thing. Like, yeah, I can see this. I can see the representation. Don't know if this, one, this device has any like actual like, evolution things to it. Like the original V1 and V2. Because like in the original V1 and V2, you had like certain evolution paths. That'd be, like, t that you'd be taking or whatever by, like, the parents. I don't know if these dices keep up with that. I'd be cool if they didn't, but to be honest, if they did, that wouldn't bother me too much. So, hopefully, they change a bit. The next generation will be a bit different, though, because in the next generation, we do have... What is it? The evens or whatever, so that means we will be seeing some different Tamas. I might purposely abuse one. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how these devices work. Um, but I might purposely, like, give one some care mistakes or whatever. It's just so, like, the pathways can change. Because a part of me is, like, worried that these devices are very similar to or towards each other. In terms of, like, uh, roster and stuff like that. So it's like, I would want something different. And, of course, there we go. On this side, we got a little different child there. So this one more looks like the other parent than the main one, which is exciting because that means we have some differences, and those are always awesome to see. And of course, we've got the awesome red pixels and everything like that with it. So wonderful, wonderful things going on currently. And so it's pretty awesome to see all that. Do need to give them some uh, random little foods, though, so let's give them some food there. And there we go. And sorry if you hear any fireworks outside, my neighbors have decided to start a bit early. It's like July 3rd when I'm recording this, but it makes sense. It's like night or whatever, so people can celebrate early. It's just a bit tedious, because I'd rather have it be done tomorrow, but that's okay. Tomorrow you'll, you'll hear way more in the video, probably. That I'm going to re be recording early in the day. Which is an actual possibility that I see myself doing. Bam, look at all that poop. It's weird to me that they decided on collecting poop, but like... I get it, they wanted like a different style. And there we go, getting the poop. This is like the slowest way to make them lose weight, by the way. It's just a really good way to get money. Oop, I messed up. But yeah, this is a pretty decent way of getting money, though, because you get 50 bucks, and if you are playing in a more standard environment, you can easily get up to 100 and stuff like that and unlock the money. The seller guy did come around, or the shopkeeper did come around a few times today. He didn't offer too much interesting stuff, though. He basically offered stuff that we already had, and it's like, I don't need that. Like, I need some cooler things. And there we go, we got the little things. I like the, uh, was it, the se second one. The one looks like sort of like a, uh... I, I forgot what Japanese thing it's based off of. I want to say Kabuki, but I don't think it's a Kabuki. But there you go, our Tama's racing. Will he win? No, he's, like, uh, what was it? I think it was Chroma who commented that, uh, in the last episode, the victory of fatness, basically. Because, there we go. The power being fat means you get to sink to the water and drown very easily. Though the nice part about this minigame is, I can constantly just kind of spam it over and over and over again. I don't understand the point of, like, letting me pick one. I, like, I'm not going to pick anyone else who's different. Like, I'm going to believe in my Tamagotchi. 
Even if he's even if he weighs a lot and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, I'll believe in him constantly. I'll believe in him. But we're gonna put him down over here. Look at the stats of the other one real quickly. The other one's also doing pretty fine, but he's also a bit of fatty. So And it's another third place victory for those interested. Oh, it's a cheap one. I love that cheap one. I'm hoping I get that cheap one at some point. And of course, another little running mini game type thing. I will say the sound of this one is super annoying. Which is why this is like gonna be like the last one I do for this one. We're not gonna be winning this fight, but let's go. Go. Go, my Thomas. I know you both of y'all won't win. But y'all can do it. Oh, this one won. He may be fat, but he still can run. He's been following the rules of the zombie apocalypse. He's keeping up with his cardio. Oh, now both of them are keeping up with their cardio. These two are not going to be eaten by zombies today. Let's see if I can do this mini game at twice. Let's see. Stop your celebration, man. I know you're excited, but I'm also excited to see if I can fail at this mini game twice in a row. So let's go. Bam. Look at that failure. Oh. Oh. Failure right then. <laughs> we got one shot in. One shot. Like, that's enough of a victory. Could have given us one gachi point. Come on. No one gachi points for us, apparently. And that's pretty much it for mini games right there. Uh, I'm kind of curious if this one has anything to do with the uh, babies or whatever, so I guess we'll find out. If anyone has any names, by the way, for these Tamas, uh, you can comment them down below. Remember, these are Japanese, so like, make sure to put it in katakana. So if you have a naming choice, try keeping it up with like simple katakana or whatever like that. Oh, it's a, it's a little heart. And the next run, I will try marrying them off, by the way. Oh, what's doing something? What's the other one doing? But in the next episode, I will try marrying them off. Or not next episode, the next run of these devices. I'm going to try doing a connection marriage, which I think I found out how to finally do it. I think you just have to connect these two a lot of times around. Oh my god. There you go, did it properly. And there you go, they're going to play the money betting game, apparently. Even though they both have children, they apparently are going to risk their financial security. It doesn't matter, though, because that just means they just one of the one that started the connection gets money and the other one lost money. <laughs> but pretty simple update for the day. We do have the awesome marriage lady. The animation doesn't change for the marriage lady, by the way. It's still the same exact animation that was on it, the V1 and V2. So, y'all didn't miss out on much. I know I probably should have recorded it, but it's still the same animation, so... Sorry about that. Um, let's see if we ha if we can actually see the father, though, this time around. Let's see. Found that one. Found that one. I just talked about gachi points. And I don't know what that is. So, I guess we can't look at the father. So, nothing too interesting there yet. And we still got some mini games to sit down and play with, so let's do a one more round of a mini game here. And then we'll end off the episode. So let's catch some music. Cause you know this, uh... Cause you know that, uh, band's ending soon. They ain't gonna be having a reunion tour. The Mimichi and the Mimets are almost gone. There ain't gonna be any reunion tours this time around. She's going into an early retirement. Or he is. I think this one's the she. Yeah, this one has to be a she. I think it's a she. 
But they ain't getting the band back together after this. Man, they're really trying to get me, catch me off guard there. Like you saw that, right? Like, ah, okay. Up oh, there we go, more poop. And they're doing some dirty tricks today. Let's see. See, this one has a darker screen, so I can easily like see what's going on in this one. Love the Akai, but man, its screen is hard to see. Don't know why I'm starting to get like really into. And there we go, we're catching them. We're catching these notes. We're catching that music. Let's see what's going on. Catching all that music, let's see. Come on. So I'm starting to get really into this now, and this is the issue. This mini game makes me really good. Like I know all the tips and tricks. I know how to play this mini game now. I think this mini game comes back in the re-release. I have not looked too much into the info of the re-release though. Probably should look into it a bit more, but I kind of also want to be surprised. Because supposedly the other... Oh, man, I messed that up. Man, we were on 96. I could have completed that minigame. We were four away from that. Like, ah, oh, that, was, that was so close. But I know the re-release is supposed to have more minigames, because it's, it's combining the original version 3 minigames with the Japanese minigames. So that is really exciting to see. To like have all that like content still like built into it, so that's gonna be really awesome to and at some point get to play all those mini games. That does mean you probably won't get bored of the mini games, even though this device has the best mini game. You're not being stu uh, stuck with meh mini uh, kind of crappy uh, second game and a enjoyable but annoying uh, third mini game. I think you're having like ten mini games and maybe some connection ones. To be honest, I don't know about the connection ones, but because I have not done any connection games on this one device yet. Because I don't even know how you're supposed to do the connection mini games. All I've done is lost money. Like, see, the other ones don't work. And that, and the last one is for the phone connection, so yeah. Okay. Don't know what's all going on with these devices, but I'm going to be lowering their weight down a bit more again. And that'll probably be it. And tomorrow we'll come back into this episode probably earlier in the day instead of doing recording a bit later in the day because of the whole fireworks or whatever. And to be honest, I doubt anyone wants to keep hearing fireworks in the background. So, see y'all next time. And for the fellow Americans who are watching this one, happy 4th of July. And for anyone else who's watching this, just have a good day. So, thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye! Whee!